Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Enrique here. Uh, easy things to draw. Today we're gonna learn how to draw Batman Beyond. At least Terry McGinnis, uh, you know, in the outfit, you know, Batman, essentially. Uh, before that, though, really quick, I'm gonna talk about this. This is the Armadillo wristband. There's a wristband that we've been selling out of our stores for about a year. It was on Kickstarter. The Kickstarter made it pretty well, and it's in a couple of stores right now. One in New Zealand. One in uh, one in London, I believe. Uh, basically, it's supposed to hold your pencils. The reason it's so loose like that is because this one is actually for markers, but I don't have another one on me right now. And if you're going out to traveling and sketching, you can put this thing on, and you can carry all your supplies. That's about it. Ah! Click on the website, and that's it for that right now. So let's get to business. Let's get to our main thing. We're going to go over Terry, uh, Terry McGinnis is his real name, but essentially Batman Beyond. This is actually a tutorial I was... Uh, I was actually a little hesitant to do because, I mean, the look that we know of Batman Beyond is the look of the cartoon. You know, I know there's comic book versions and things like that, but that look, of the cartoon, is really what we know. And uh, because he's totally painted black, he is. We're gonna have to go more of in the shadow. We're gonna have to base it off shadow patterns instead of you know the actual structure and the line. You know. So I'm going to go over that really quick as I'm talking. So right now let's draw a oval just for the whole head. Hopefully you can see that. I'm using a pencil, by the way. It doesn't matter what kind of pencil. All right. So let's get into it. I'm going to draw this for the center line, looking a little bit to the left. His ears are pretty long. Hopefully you can see them in camera. Let me move this down. These are a lot longer than uh, you know uh, than the traditional Batman years. Is that in the page? Yeah, close enough. Pretty long. And you know what? Right off the bat, try to get his general head shape. You know, I would get a picture of that character and just copy the head shape, uh, uh, angle the jaw over here, until you commit it to memory. You know angle of this jaw bottom of the chin angle of that, that jaw too going you know going into the side of the cheek and we're going to split this uh, where you had the circle before you are going to split that in the thirds about you're going to find the front kind of where the head plane changes you know where the forehead changes is a top plane and there's a side plane, the front plane. So you're gonna top of the hair where the hairline would be and divide that from here into thirds. So like there maybe, ish. Yeah, close enough. All right, let's get into the eye first. And like I said, this one could be a little different. You're not really drawing a lot of the the line within you know the the kind of the kind of, you're not doing so much the line art, you know, even though it is line art. You are, you're following the shadow patterns, and that's going to affect his design because he's a totally black mask, you know. So let me explain that as I'm drawing this. His eye has that cool triangle look that so many people have, so many characters have. Love it. Right on the other side as well. Try to even it out. An anger look here. The next thing I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to, the light would be coming for, let's say, from here. Somewhere around there. I'm going to place the shadow that would uh, kind of come from this side. I'm sorry, not the shadow, the light. The light source hits his nose dead on. And since the nose itself is kind of a triangle, it would hit this side of the nose. 
I'm gonna make that very uh, kind of a graphic shape, just like in the cartoon. Because nose is kind of a is, is a triangle, a hole, and it'll be hitting this side of the triangle. So if you were to kind of uh, break the a nose down, especially his nose, into like very very simple shapes, it'd be something like this. You know, it'd come around up that corner, straight that way, and then back that way. You know, that's if you were to simplify it down. And so the light would come from this side, and it would hit just this corner. I hope that makes sense. And it seems to be like some double... He's always put with double lighting, so you know where, where uh, you know, stuff's coming from. So there'd be like a light from this side and a light from... There'd be two light sources almost always they have him with. And this indicates kind of the cheekbone, the zygomatic arch. This is rolling back into the cheek. Stay with me here. I know this is a little difficult. Frontalis, which is the front of the forehead. It rolls into the forehead. It rolls back here into the bat wing. So the light's coming from here. And because it's coming from... It's coming from two... It's, okay, the main light source, let's say, is coming from this side downward. But there's also a light source coming from the other side as well. And we'll go over that in a second, too. We're just trying to get this one. That's going to... The mouth part... The mouth... Uh, the muzzle of the mouth of a human mouth, you can kind of simplify it by drawing a circle for the tooth cylinder. You know, the entire, you know, teeth. So what I'll do is that 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 would also follow that right into the chin area. You could maybe do a little bit if you want or not, you know. So like what I said is the light is hitting it, is hitting his head, and it's hitting the side of his ear all the way down the side of his head into the cheek, into the zygomatic arch, which is the cheekbone. And it's going to hit the muzzle of the mouth. And that's why it's making that shape. But we're just simplifying it. And the cartoon especially simplifies that in a very, very attractive way. You know? Very attractive way. You got to make these uh, simplified shapes attractive. That's why I love... Uh, I really wish I knew more about animation uh, because of that. They, they're so good at taking something and simplifying it down. These character designs in cartoons are so good, you know? And now I'm going to complete the side of the head. Trying to connect that one line down. And this is just the contour I'm doing right now. And he does not have much of a neck. I mean, he's got a neck, but the original Batman, you know, had, like, pretty pretty buff body. This guy's more of a teenager, right? Or I forget. He was, like, in high school, I believe, Terry McGinnis. He's got more of a Spider-Man's neck. <coughs> and I could also do the same thing for... One moment, I had to cough. I also do the same thing with a light source coming from his, you know, his neck as well. I could either give him bigger traps or made that too dark. Forget about it. I'll shade into it later. We'll see what I'm talking about. Anyways, so now we're going to take care of this light source from this side. See, there's two light sources every time this gets shot, uh, usually in the cartoon. And that's to, that. the reason they do that is so you can show the form, you know, because he's a totally black outfit. If they didn't have two light sources, it'd be kind of weird looking, I think. Uh, so, obviously they went back and forth between them. So, one second. Ow, my, <laughs> I had to cough. All right. The other thing about these light sources is they're coming from behind. So it's going to roll over here to that actual the hairline. So 
something I missed over here from this light source. And this is coming from here. It's just like a big wave of light, right? It's going to hit this ear as well. And it's also going to make that shape as well. <coughs> now let's take care of the light source from this side. It's coming toward us a little bit. It's trying to make it a little thing coming, like an arrow pointing toward us, but nah, totally messed that up. Anyways, <laughs> the light's coming toward us and this way. Let's take care of this light source. Same thing because it has this light source. Because there's two light sources, it's going to have a sharp dark on the front of it. It's going to be light on this side, light on this side, and it's going to leave just this dark band right here. But let's trace out the where it would hit. Contour. And then the light source would hit here on his forehead here. The side of his cheek, we're just going over the contour again. And now it's this light source, we gotta take care of that light source, we're gonna outline it so that we can shade in later. Gonna hit this side of the cheek here. We're going on the bridge of the nose, over the mouth, and the mouth. I'm going to make it open because he's so dark. At least the white of the teeth will show. Even though in reality it probably wouldn't show, but in the animation it does. You do this also to show that he has lips, you know? Normally I think this would be in light as well from this side. The front of his lip I think would be in light. but because of the animation style to show that he you know he can talk and stuff they put in the darkness all right let's do something right now because so you got light coming on this side and light coming from that side it's also slightly coming toward us you know so he is going to be Pretty much in darkness in the front. And so let's shade that in so we know what we're, what we're looking at. Hmm. I might time lapse this because it's going to be boring. Please, guys, if you guys have seen uh, most of this cartoon, let me know. You know? What you like? About, what you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Uh, I really love this cartoon. I thought it was a great cartoon. I and I was pretty tough too on it. You know what I mean? I'm like a new Batman. F that. You know, I'm so in love with a regular Batman that. But this guy was pretty cool. He was. They completely made him different. You know, they didn't try to make this guy. <coughs> they didn't try to make Terry like. I don't know. They made him a different character. He didn't try to imitate the other Batman. He made. He was a different kind of Batman. And I, I like that. You know, I enjoyed it. He reminds me more of Spider-Man, I think, is the high schoolish nature. And the, I think Terry McGinnis had some funny one-liners, right? Did he? Not a bunch, but a couple. I have first season of this show on uh, on DVD. I should really look at it again. I don't know if they have this on Netflix. Does anybody know if they have this on Netflix? Shading in, continuing to shade in. So we know what we're looking at. Be careful not to shade in the wrong thing because it's easy to get mixed up. If you want to memorize how to draw a character, you draw 
you draw on the character, maybe from different sides, different angles. But I would say memorize one pose, which is usually what I do. Memorize that character in one pose, and you can draw it out of anywhere. So at least you got that down, and then move on to other stuff. You know, but I would say absolutely know the structure of how they're made. You know what I mean? A triangle for the ears or something like that. You know, that's what I do. See, in the cartoon, they would completely connect these two shapes here, but I'm, since I'm drawing it, I don't want to do that. Like I said, this one is so... He's so strongly based on the light he's in. This character throughout the series. Let me look at it through the camera. Alright. And that's pretty much it. That's the basic structure on how to draw Batman Beyond. And you, you can add to this if you want, but the, his front of his face is very much in shadow, while the rest of him is like... Um, it's all light source, really, because of his black outfit. And if you look at black, uh, like, material, you know what I mean? Like, in real life, it kind of does that, too. To show off the form, it's going to need uh, different kinds of light, really. Usually from more than one angle. Not always, you know. But it's different than having just, like, a white... Uh, uh, you know, like, just a white cloth all over them, or like a Spider-Man pattern or something like that. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, please, if you have any drawings, post them on uh, Easy Things to Draw Facebook. I'll link it. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.